Nothing new there, but that one right to the limit. Well, when it works, you think it's wonderful, brave stuff, and it certainly is, but when it doesn't, it's insanity. 5 3 twos. Let for serve. Set point. Well, once that all it is, uh, now they've really joined battle, but that was the essence of Philippusis. Double fault, service winners, One aces, all packed together like a shy. You never know what's coming next. Wally, what, did, did you see that cameraman come on, and do you think that had anything to do with Rafter losing his concentration? Well, maybe. You don't know. I would imagine that uh, Pat has had more to deal with than that and held his concentration, so I'm not quite sure. But just a couple of signs for me there, and we saw it when Philippoussis played Henman in the fourth set. He just hits the ball so hard for so long off every wing that you really get no respite. And every it's almost like every nerve ending, every muscle fibre has to be just on because you've got to read the serve and move particularly quickly to the returns. And there was just signs there that the, the bludgeoning had Rafter just making a couple of errors on his own serve. They, they weren't really unforced errors, but low volleys. And there was just a few signs for me there. Sent first serve, six winners, only one unforced error again. Mark, able though, just on the big point, if anything, he came up with a shank at 30-40. And they're the hard ones to read because Same. the path of the ball and the path of the racket, there's no correlation. Philippus has looked as though he's going cross-court. The shank sent it down the line and Rafter made the mistake Seats, on the forehand Thank volley. And, and that was the set. And uh, fortunately, I think Third fortunately serve. in terms of this match, it'll be a better spectacle now. He did hang on to that serve from 15-40, but we saw it again. Three double faults in a row. He just goes for too much on occasion. US Open final, is it one set all? Rafter hit some beautiful angles like that, and that Very shows lovely. what a... Bill's already said, do you think he's one of the best volleyers in the game? I'm sure that's right. Yeah, I don't mean the game today either, I mean of all time. Forty love. You see that serve as well, Jerry? He doesn't bludgeon you with par. He, he sort of bemuses you with variation and guile. Hasn't served fast at all in this match. 111 fastest serve. <laughs> Crowd always love that. There isn't a pro who can't do that almost with his eyes shut. Looks good.
One game to love, he leads. Third set. First They're locked at one set all. And it's anybody's final. For the first set, the... That makes eight double faults in the match from Philippus so far. Well, this is par for the course with him. 42 double faults coming into this match. That's going to be out. <laughs> Great scramble from Rafter. Oh, incredibly quick he was. Philippus is pretty quick to dive for after shot as well, but this, you've got to be an athlete to get that. And you have to get that as well. But tough on him, his goes out. It's so difficult on the end of a run like that to control a ball over the highest part of the net and to look at the ball. had a bit of bad luck towards the end of the last set he did, he did too played a really good shot he just came back off the tape that would have been love 40. Rafter made much better contact there on that return of serve and has here two chances to break for two love. did well to dig that up and uh, of course Philippoussis loves burying these he makes a dent in the court when he hits this quarter six early evening in New York lights are on it's done well for a big man for those low volleys well, Way out of trouble again there. 15 40 down, 30 40 down, two break points. And it keeps hammering away and it's one all. Yes, when you analyze Philippoussis, he's uh, 
Well, Rafter has had 11 chances to break Philippoussis, only taken one of them. He's only broken the Philippoussis serve once, so these, these chances come and go pretty quickly. Now Rafter stayed back after that serve. Does that signify a change of tactics? <laughs> Beautiful shot. 15 Certainly was, because he didn't have too much time to prepare it. Hit it on the rise. Very accurate. He's actually served one more ace than Philippoussis. <laughs> That's good recovery. Well, I really think Philippus is so astonished by the court coverage of Rafter and keeping that low over the net that he really didn't do enough with that, apart from trying to hit it the wrong way round. Good competent service game by Rafter. He's a lead of 2-1. They're locked at once at all. Yeah, well, I think locked is the word because Philippoussis is pretty is proving very hard indeed to put away, calm him down. Although you wouldn't think so in that game of the double faults. Cash has gone through the same sort of things time, in Australia time. as Philippoussis is going through: trouble with the press, trouble with the Davis Cup, and so on. Rafter has avoided all those sort of problems. He just sails on. A good guy playing good tennis, but Philippoussis, still young, has a bit to learn. Thank you. Ready for play. Most convincing overhead from Rafter, but the best lob he's played for a while. A couple of really telling lobs in the first set. Yeah, the ball was right up there in the circuit for LaGuardia Airfield, though. I mean, it was hanging there for a long time. That's why he played that smash so carefully. Thank you. 